morning. So we're what is the date today? It is Monday, the the twenty sixth of April, and we're on a full spring lawn maintenance. So this is the this is the lawn in question. So we're going to be scarifying um, hollow tie aeration, seeding, overseeding, fertilizing. Now I've already come in and sprayed the weeds. You can see that they're beginning to die. The telltale sign, you see how the leaf here is just beginning to lift up so that you, you know that the, the weed is dying off now. So it's basically going through its life's lifespan within a couple of weeks. Um, so that's a good sign that that is now in. Um, I'm using the Iron Hell today. Sorry, not the Iron Hell, the Elite Scarifier. And that's purely because and that's purely because I've got a lot of stuff to do. I'm also mowing, so I'm limited on space because I've got the Toro Time Master in the van as well. Um, it's only a small lawn, so I thought that would be the perfect option. I'm going to scarify twice and then aerate before we uh, start seeding and top dressing and all that jazz. <laughs> One pass of the scarifier. Um, this is everything I've got off. So I'm just going to drop the height just a tiny amount and now I'm just going to go straight up and down. has been double pass scarified and I've now just changed the the tines over took the solid tines off 
um, put the hollow tines on, made sure that all the tines are clear and they're not blocked with old, with old soil from the last time I used them. aerated now so I'm at the point now when I'm ready to seed the lawn I've created a seed bed with the scarifier and also was made by the aerator too now what I want to do is overseed the lawn now I need to make sure I use enough seed but equally I don't want to use too much because obviously in my invoice I've quoted for the right amount of seed for the right square meterage. Uh, so how I've done this is I need to use two and a half thousand grams of seed. This is the particular seed um, for that particular seed. Different seeds, different ratios. So you need to work this out per seed type. So what I did was I measured out a thousand grams um, in this pot here on the scales and then I cut the pot, I marked around it and I cut it off. So now all I need to do is to take one scoop that I've already put in here, another scoop, and then half a scoop and that's two and a half thousand grams and that will do a hundred square meters but that is as I say for this seed only. Every seed has a different overseeding and seeding rate. Okay, so I've seeded the lawn. Um, I did it by hand. I don't have a drop spreader and I wouldn't want to use um, a cyclone spreader just because it shoots it out and it's, I don't want to get the seed in the flower bed for obvious reasons. So now I'm just going to drop some uh, pre-seed fertilizer and then, uh, then we'll top dress it all.
Okay, so that's it. All done. All seeded. Tetris, etc., etc. So all I need to do now is close the gate. If a client's in, so he's going to water it in a second. So don't have to worry about that. And all I need to do now to finish off, if you remember the video I did about the leaflets, um, I'm just going to give him this leaflet here. So basically, it just has after care, tur uh, after turfing care. So what to do after turf's been laid, um, when to mow, etc. But obviously, it's the the seeding bit which is relevant to him. So after seeding care. Uh, watering new seed when to water first mow on newly seeded areas and also first mow on overseeded lawns which obviously is applicable to him so so yeah so I'm just going to hand that into him now and um, and then we're on to for the rest of the day.